Actress Sean Young rehearses a scene from her latest project. But don't look for any movie cameras. With a little help from Hoagie Carmichael, Young is making her stage debut in Stardust at the Wilshire Theatre in Los Angeles, displaying talent she's kept until now under lock and key. I guess. I guess I've been hiding it. But uh, only the people who don't know me. I mean, it's really, it hasn't been intentional. I've just never had the opportunity, timing-wise. You know, it, it was film, 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 film. Between films, it was tap, tap, tap. This tap session was two years ago in Manhattan, where even then, Sean was thinking musicals. Every time I finished a movie, I came back to New York and I threw myself into tap class. You just do it. You just keep working at it. Opportunities have a way of presenting themselves. Hollywood expected big things from Young after films like Blade Runner and No Way Out. But over the years, with incidents such as a public feud with one-time co-star James Woods, she lost roles in films like Batman and Dick Tracy. She was labeled hard to work with. Those around her, like Stardust co-star Tony Tennille, disagree. I didn't know she could sing at all, so I didn't know she could dance. So this girl comes flying in and does all these steps across the floor, and I went, whoa, well, what? Sean hopes one day she'll have the chance to do something like Stardust on the big screen. And she says her first live theater experience has taught her it's a lot harder than she's ever imagined. It's a good feeling, but it's the comfort factor that movies have, you know, is something that I've, I've grown to miss. <laughs> On the Entertainment Beat, I'm Lisa Petrillo, Channel 10 Eyewitness News.